What's up guys, Eternal here and today we're playing Anivia with her new skin. Let's start with this. And Q first. This is a really nice skin, I like it. I'm playing against Kane, what? Let's take a look at the recall. I really like this skin. Anivia actually was one of my first mains long ago. She's underrated. Let's see how it goes. Definitely one of her best skins. Wow, electrocute. Winter wind guide me. By the way, your Q deals damage when it passes through the target and when you detonate it. So you should maximize the damage like this. Don't Q instantly, second Q. Just wait for it to pass slightly. And your E deals more damage when the target is affected by your Q or fully formed OT. I also play with Electra as you can see, it's really nice. Is that? Bye! See, like Anivia is so fun. Has tons of bursts. And her passive saves you from instant death. Because if you survive within 6 seconds, you're gonna revive with current health. So your enemy has 6 seconds to kill you again. Okay, coming. Oh. Can we good? I didn't use Q for a reason, like his wind wall. But yeah, it's fun. Imagine how hard you can impact later. Oh. Let's go. You know, I flashed only to save Rengar, else it wouldn't be worth it. But if I could save Rengar like this, just to make sure that it was fine. And good thing that I stayed. I am neither the first, nor the last. Be nice. I don't have mana so I can't really help. I mean I can with Q but I'm not sure. Okay, that's why you're doing this. Hey, stunt, let's go. Soraka took the kill, but it's important that we took the kill. What a nice start. Usually I go tier first, but if I can afford lost chapter, then that's my first option for the purchase. Okay, and by following the jungler, my jungler got really fat. When you play mid lane, it really matters to follow your jungler with early calls. Yeah, try to cast Q when your enemy is doing basic attacks or some kind of animations with abilities. Then it's easier to hit. See like this? Yeah. Wow, the damage, and especially when you combine with Electro. There's also a nice combo like. Oh. 
Okay, I will die here probably. Yeah. Sadly. Oh, he had the run shield, that's why he survived. Yeah, this potion saved him, happens. But I wanted to say that if you practice, you can W and Q instantly, like imagine your enemy is going back, trying to escape, and immediately that W changes his path. So before your enemy can realize, you can already stun. So you can make your enemy go the way you want with the right timing. I will not forsake my home. Oh, what a miss. What? That much? He doesn't even have one mythic item completed. That surprised me completely. I should have used my Q. I think Kane is boosted like as a champion. Okay, nice outplay. I really think that Kane deserves some nerves. It was my bad this time, of course. Should have used my Q properly. Okay, now there is OT and you can disable your OT a bit earlier because the last stick of the damage will finish off the minion wave. And try to keep your enemies in that OT for as long as possible. You see like this? I already disabled. But it's insane how fast Kane snowboat. Already with such power spike. Not to mention that he didn't complete his form yet. You can also play with teleport as Anivia. Kane is a bit tricky because he can avoid my Q with his Q or his ult or press E. It's actually an annoying matchup for Anivia. It was fun early, but now that Echo impacted this lane a bit. Things changed. At least Rangar is fed. It's too late to impact, I think. I just push. And I've got no mal. Careful. As you can see, Anivia is mana hungry. Did she rage quit? 3 0 Zaya. Something ancient. An ally has been slain. 
If I was this Rengar, I would just use this time to escape, it was possible. But he instead jumped on set again. With such health. That was dump, I would say. Okay, that was ABC. This is looking like a hard game. Blue cane. I tried blue cane mid, it's really OP, so uh, it's gonna be a pain to deal with. much happened. Okay, he's locked. There is my ulti. Keep in mind to disable that after some time. Oh. No. Ah. Should have flashed earlier. I hate Yasu was such a broken champ. For a moment I thought we are winning this and also sad that Kane survived. Should have focused him more, I was dealing with Seth first, but he was the closest. He would make some problems anyway. But if I flashed earlier I would deal with Yasuo. I definitely need an Oblivion Orb. Okay. Now I failed. Why would you go Essence River first? Crowd controlled me and I couldn't finish off Echo. Set crowd controlled. He had the chance to jump. You know, because Caitlyn provided vision, so Rengar could have just gone here and gap closed. Okay, he has the kill on Kane. But what was that? Oh, nice. Shut down. No? Still not. What a champion! Okay. 
something ancient stirs. What? <laughs> he didn't block that. Careful, OT. Yeah. Used OT to zone them. What already that okay and behind me there was uh, it's just too hard. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh, Soraka, nice. An enemy has been slain. I need an hourglass now. Now it's pretty unfortunate because Anivia is a solid champion and you could see early how good it was. But I can actually tell that this is one of the worst team comp to play Anivia. Into. And this range shows you the distance in which you have to be to maintain out. I don't know why would you kill there anyway. Insane. An enemy has been slain. Thousand lives will I give for the failure. 
And I'm out of mana. Oh, good job. Come back, potential. Winter wind. I like this. It surprises your enemy. The damage is good. Good damage. Like Anivia is a late game monster. It can be a problem reaching that. Oh. Okay. I tried. Like Rengar kind of forced this. Okay, he took the kill, but later, you know, it started another team fight. Going next to Yasuo like this. I strongly believe that League of Legends would be a much better place without champions like Yasuo or Kane. We are all connected. Oh, he didn't kill. Surprising. Good job. You can hourglass with your ult, and it's actually huge. Here comes Rengar. Nice. He got fat. I really need to finish Morello for even greater healing reduction. But yeah, you could see that. You can combine OT with an hourglass and it's a really strong combo. Oh, flash. Hey, nice. They got bait. Okay. This is good. See? Baron? Baron? I mean, Rengar is dead, but it might work. Winter wind. Thing is, K 
Kane can easily spot something. He gets vision out of nothing. Of course I can. Yeah, we should be careful because if they combine like Yasuo with Kane, we are done. We cannot do Baron anymore. Ah, stop this. I hate when my team is chasing like this because then we lack organization, they can instantly do Baron. We are separated. One of us might die. Yeah, this is bad. I just try to be there to save my teammates. Or I would just go back earlier. Fourth Drake and we can lose Baron. If we lose Baron now, it will be really hard to win. Now it's just insane. This combo is totally broken. I would love to show Anivia's potential, but they are too fat. I would just wait for my allies if I was this Rengar. Because that old. Hey, they didn't take inhibitor. Also, I took Relentless Hunter, but I'm gonna recommend Ravenous, probably. Healing will make a difference. And you can do it like this, see? What? Interesting support set. I have felt this corruption before. They will be grouped, probably, you know. I don't think it will work. And the wall is wider with each rank of this ability. Kind of old so. They were better as a team because they had stronger individuals compared to others. Where I tried, it was really hard. I still think that Anivia is a fun champion. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. 
And if you did, then you can like, subscribe, and you can also check out my other videos and stream. Till next time.